I, I want to paint this picture for our viewers. Like, imagine mm -hmm. if the, if Sarah Sanders were a Democrat, if she were the press secretary for a liberal president, and the barrage mm -hmm. of attacks, criticizing her appearance, threatening her family, demeaning her and comparing her to fictional, evil fictional characters. Imagine mm -hmm. if that had come from conservative men, the way that it's come from liberal men towards Sarah Sanders being a conservative woman. I mean, the outrage would be extraordinary and perhaps rightly so but they don't say a word in her defense even though she's a woman even though she's a successful woman even though she's the first mother to ever serve in this high-ranking yep. position in the united states government they don't defend her for even one second because they don't like her politics Honestly, if you just change the president that she was working for, her resume and her experience and her expertise and her really self-sacrifice to do this job as a working mom with a hyphenated name, she'd be getting the praises that Hillary Clinton got, you know, pre-2016. But of course not, because she's a part of a Republican political dynasty and, and what her father has done for conservatism, the Republican Party in the United States. And, you know, now she's a part of the Trump administration. And so for the left and the mainstream media, that will forever tarnish her name. And you also pointed out, like, the direct threats from people in Hollywood, from people in Congress, from members of the media who call her dangerous and call for people to, to boycott her, who have called for her to be fired, who have called her a blatant liar on behalf of the president numerous times. I mean, the threats that have come from the Americans against Sarah Sanders are greater than those threats that, you know, Ilhan Omar claimed that President Trump, you know, pushed towards her that led to Democrats saying that he needed to shut his mouth. They've never told people on the left that they need to shut their mouth to protect Sarah Sanders. Right. And I just like to remind people, I mean, Sarah Sanders mentioned it in that clip that we uh, showed during the monologue, but there were threats, there were calls to kidnap her mm -hmm. children. And you're absolutely right. No member of Congress I mean, on the Ilhan other side. Has Omar ever been approached in a restaurant and then had right. to leave with her family because people were jeering and threatening to spit in her food and kick them out? She was with liberal members of her in-laws, by the way, at the time. It's not like she was even, you know, just, it, by the way, anytime somebody does that and somebody's with their like wife and kids or husband and kids, how low can you go to demonstrate something in this way? I think, you know, so Social media can be harsh, and I sometimes joke, like, don't read the comments, but the beauty of the internet and the beauty of social media is that you can publicly express your opinions about members of the public without being a jerk and confronting them right. on family dinner night. Right, and I think, too, I mean, the left talks constantly. They use the word strong women, and they have no mm -hmm. idea what makes a strong woman because a lot of people in Sarah Sanders' position would have mm -hmm. caved under this pressure. I mean, it, it can be very wearing, as you know, as I know, to be the target of a barrage of attacks, especially when the attacks are hurled not just uh, against you but against your family. And yep. Sarah Sanders responded to this with, calmness, with serenity, with strength, with grace, with poise. And she never stopped having that dialogue with the left, even when I would argue they did not deserve to be acknowledged.